Hi guys, it's April with Cricut Crafting with April. Today we're going to be making a Gina K foil card. Um, I'm just calling this my Be Happy card. It has a little bit of a little wobble here on this flower. We're using some ribbon. We're using some Gina K paper, 110 pound weight I believe it is. I'll give you guys links to everything that we use today just in case I forget to mention and where you can get it. Um, Blitzy, Amazon, I like them both. Blitzy has really fast shipping as well as Amazon. And let's get started. Uh, you're going to need one of these wobbles and I suggest that when you order you make sure that you're ordering the minis because they're pretty big uh, in size. So if your image is really small, you will see that. Um, and we're just barely getting by with these flowers that we're going to use today using one of those. Um, they do come in packs of 12, and I got these on Blitzy. I looked around at several places. Uh, I got them for less at Blitzy than uh, I would have gotten them anywhere else. I'm also going to be using the uh, stamp out of this set that I got at Michael's. Uh, it's a recollection set. I got it while they had buy one get one free. And we're going to be using the one do one thing every day stamp out of that set. And it does come with stencils. Um, so you can create this card if you don't have the Gina K foils by using some inks. Um, I'm using the Stampin' Up uh, Cherry Cobbler on mine today. Um, but you can use those stencils and stencil that uh, ink in there and get almost the same look. It just won't be as shiny. Uh, the Gina K foils. Today I'm using the red. It comes in several colors. Also, I got these at Blitzy uh, because they were on sale and Blitzy has free shipping and they're fast. I got it in like two days, I think it was. Um, you're going to need the foil mates. I'm using the Elegant Florals today on this one. I'm using this pattern here. Um, but it comes with two patterns, and it comes with a carrier sheet. The foils do not come with the carrier sheet, but you can use copy paper or parchment paper. Um, if you have a laser printer, you can print this off and, and do it that way as well. I don't have a mink. I'm just using my regular Scotch laminator. I think I got it for around $10 at Walmart, but people have been telling me now that they're like $19. But any laminator will work um, if you have the option to get, if it has a setting on it for 3 milliliter or 5, I would go with the 5 one. That's what I setting I used on mine. I'm using some of the white Gina K premium cardstock, and it's 120 pound, not 110. I love heavy cardstock. Most everything I do, I use heavy cardstock on. I will use 65 pound, like you get at Michael's Hobby Lobby, for layer panels, um, but I prefer the heavier weights. We're also going to be using the red out of the Prime Time package. Uh, it comes with four colors in it. The only drawback I find to that is. They don't sell it in 12 by 12. So, that being said, with this card and the way that I've laid it out, I've laid it out to write a sentiment on the inside for you. However, if you're going to use the Gina K papers, because of the size of the card, you won't be able to cut it on the Cricut. So, um... Your sentiment will, will have to be stamped on the inside, or if you have an iPad, you can use Snap Mat and have it write it that way after putting it on the mat and centering it. Um, so you can do it that way if you want to use the Gina K. And I'm going to make one that I can stamp a different sentiment into today using that one. But the file does contain a card to be cut out of 12 by 12. That being said, I also included an extra panel so that if you don't have the Gina K foils you can use your stencil and stencil on this panel and get that floral look using the stencil over that and inks um, but this is the Gina K foil mates I've cut down to that size 
Uh, of course, I did not cut that on the Cricut. I went ahead and used my Cricut trimmer for that. We're not going to be using this piece today because I am going to show you guys how to do the foil. And then you're going to need your foil mates, and I pre-cut mine. Um, I think it's easier if you cut your sheet and get it ready for the laminator so that it fits your panel. I've also taken the white panel. This was just a plain white panel that I've got in the file for you guys. I used one of my dies, a stitch die, just to give it a little added dimension, and I ran it through my Big Shot or your Cricut, whatever machine you might have, and got that stitched look on there. This is one of the Made in China dies off of Amazon. Uh, I think I got it for two bucks. It's like in a set of six or eight. There's several in the set, but they have really good deals on these. So far, I haven't had a problem with them. So, and I'll give you links to that as well. And then we stamped our sentiment on that. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need your tweezers because these ladybugs are really small. And I went ahead to and put all of mine together except this one to show you um, how I did it. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. Again, Amazon or May May Made It. You can get that at either place. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little. I got a little too much there, but I'll deal with it. And then I'm just going to place it on with my tweezers and hold it and let go with my tweezers. And then, while it's still wet, if it'll allow me, I'll center it up a little bit using my pick. And we'll set that off to dry. I am going to also be using stickles. Uh, by Ranger. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, on Amazon, several different places. I'll give you a link to Amazon and Blitzy for those. And I'm going to be using a little bit of Nuvo Drops too because I didn't have a black glitter stickles. You'll need some pop dots. You can get these on Blitzy as well. And a little bit of ribbon and your bone folder. And that while you get your supplies together, we'll go ahead and get started on this card. I'm first going to stamp my sentiment and give it time to dry. I need to line that up. I think I'll just move. I have, you may or may not be able to see this. I may be off camera, but I'm just using my Misty. Let's see if I can scoot over here to where you guys can see without losing my ladybug while I was getting ready. I lost one of the wings and couldn't find it. That's never a good thing. And I'm getting ink on me from my previous stamping. I wanted to test the card before I released it to you guys. Oh, I hate to release files I haven't tested because if there's any problem with them, I would rather have the problem than you guys. That way I can adjust the file for you. Clean that up a little bit. Get that ink off of there. I apologize. I'm going to have ink on my hands now, but that's okay. I think that looks pretty good. stick. And like I said, I'm using the Cherry Cobbler from Stampin' Up. I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. I love their inks and their pads. They store upside down. So they're always ready to stamp. just to make sure I got a good crisp image. And now, like this. I don't want to get ink all over me again. I'm going to set that to the side. Since I have a little ink on my hands. 
use this to pick it up with. And we'll be finished with that. And I smeared it anyway. Oh, I will stamp another one to use and replace it on the card. Or cover it with a flower. And you can use your art glitter glue for this. Or you can use your tape runner. And just center it up on the small red panel. I hate that I smeared that trying to get that off of there. I might just go ahead and cut a smaller piece and just pop dot it over the top when I get done. That's what I'll do. So whenever you make a error, we all make errors, just find a way to correct it. Next I'm going to run this through the laminator. And it may be a little short, so I may have to run it twice. There we go. And I'll be right back with that. If I can find my carrier sheet, there it is. You're just going to place it in. Like so. Making sure that it's covered. And I did give myself a little bit of area, so if it didn't cover somewhere, I could trim a little bit. may run that twice. My laminator timed out on me and we'll work on this while that's going. I did not raise this panel. Just lined it up on the card. I'm going to use my bone folder to make sure that lays a little bit flatter. Here we go. That way it's not flopping around on me while I'm trying to line things up. And we're just going to place it on the card there. Let me check this to see. And we're going to need to run that again. Since it cooled down on me, we'll work on the other pieces. This piece I did pop dot up, just using two or three. I like mine to be supported in the center. And then you just want to line it up and press it down. My OCD is kicking in over that ink smear, but I know I can pop dot it. I'll use that thin black pop dot and put over it. That way it's not raised up too much. And just re put a second panel over the top that isn't smeared. And I probably should have waited till I put my panel down before placing that. Would have been smart. There we go. So don't do like I did. Take your time and make sure you get it on there right. And I think that might do it. And then when you peel after it comes out of the laminator, you can see the foils on there. Like I said, if you don't have um, the Gina K foil sheets, the, uh, what are they calling them, the foil mates. If you don't have those, you can print a pattern on a laser printer if you can get your card stuck through the laser printer. And then you can use that foil and it will work. I've tested it. It's worked for me before. And then, and I probably would have run this through a second time, but for time's sake, I'm just not going to do it today. 
I'm going to put a little extra glue in the center on this one and take a piece of ribbon and just stick it down. I'm going to line that up and press it down. Then you can put your sentiment down right there. And I cheat a little bit on my ribbon too because I am not the best bow person in the world. And I just put a little sticky on the tails. And a little bit of art glitter glue. And then I'm going to stick that in the center. Bring my tail where I want it and stick it down. And that will hold. I may have to put a little bit more glue behind there. Sometimes you need hot glue depending on your ribbon type that you use. Next, I'm going to pop dot your flowers. I used a small one to put the white piece onto the red, and I used a little larger one on one of these. And then you'll want to peel that off and place your flower. I like mine to be a little bit higher up. And then you can fluff the petals up if you like a little bit on these to give it a little more dimension. Then on the second one we're going to peel off the large part, not the piece with the hole in it. And peel off that and it is clear so if it's a little bit bigger than your project, you can get away with it. And then press it down. And that's going to give it a little bit of a wobbly effect. Then you'll want to peel the backing off the spring. And then place that and press it down. And that's going to give it a little bit of a fun wobble effect. Do something every day that makes you happy. And that makes me happy. Next, I'm going to take the little ladybugs, since they've been sitting over there to dry. And I did pop dot each one of those. And you're going to need your tweezers again here. And that one didn't quite get center. Give it back. No, it's not going to give it back, but I think it'll be okay. And get your little ladybug in the tweezers so that you can visually see because your hands get in the way when you're trying to place them. And they can get off center. And if they stick really well like that one did, you're not getting that pop dot back. And just kind of press it and release with the tweezers. This card goes together fairly quickly. It's just a little bit of tedious work with the putting the ladybugs together, and I didn't want to take up camera time to do that. Okay. And then we have basically our finished card. And I've got a little pop dot back there. Some glue from my tape runner and doing that bow. Which I've got a glue eraser if you have one of those. If you don't, they're a great thing to have. Um, let me pull that out and show you what I'm doing. It's just a little gum eraser. And ThermoWeb sells those. Uh, they have those at Blitzy. So if you get some glue on your mat or your or tape runner on your mats 
it will take it off. It will also take it off the cards if you get any on there. Love those things. Can't live without one of those. Then I'm going to take the stickles. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down so I don't smear it with my hands. And it doesn't take much. Stickles are extremely shiny. And I'm just covering in the red cardstock a little bit just to give it some shine. Now I glued that together a little off so we'll cover it up with some stickles. It won't hurt. Got a little bit in that hole and I don't want that there. You can always come back with your black Nouveau drops and fix any errors that you get there. Just a little bit. I'm just barely squeezing this bottle. It's giving me plenty of glitter. We're not quite finished with the red yet. I'm going to use it again. And then I put a little bit of Nouveau Drops on the head just to give it some dimension on there. I did not do the antennas because I'm not steady enough for that. I am going to fix that one little dot by placing a little bit of Nouveau drop on top of that stickle. It might be pretty to go back and do those as well on all of the dots. And then I'm using the diamond stickles. And I'm just going to put a center in each one of these flowers. And then eat where the Cricut cut this flower, I'm adding a little dot of red. Just on each petal. And that finishes out the card. Like I said, I will repair that, but you guys take your time and let it dry. Don't be in a rush like I was. And you're going to have that beautiful card. Now we can put a vellum sentiment in there. We can do stamp a sentiment. There can be several things done. But like, like I said, again, in the file, you have the extra white card panel for this in case you want a stencil instead of the foil. And it will write that message. If you want to use an 8.5 by 11 card stock, you can make the card smaller or you can, like I said, uh, use a 12 by 12 sheet and use the Gina K for everything else. Thank you for watching and have a happy crafting day. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you join our Facebook group if you haven't already. And have a wonderful crafting day. Please use the links below when you do your shopping. That's going to help me bring you more videos and more projects. Y'all have a wonderful crafting day.